What is up guys? We got a little surprise today that came on a delivery truck. Um, know how good you can see that. Oh, look what we have here. Twenty seventeen Type R. Um, this is the third one we've gotten here at our dealership. Unfortunately, they've all been black. Um, Porter just dropped the keys in my pocket because the salesmen like to take these and just go show them off and drive them, but we keep the miles off of them. If you bought it from our dealership, chances are I'm the only one that's driven it or touched it. So let's get this thing to the gas station. As you guys may or may not know, I have a uh, 2017 hatch touring. Now, well, that's nice. When these when these things come in from the factory, wow, this is number 95. That's low. Um, when these things come in from the factory, there's fuses. Um, there's fuses we put in it. There's this little shift interlock cover, which these are actually for the um, automatic trans, but you know, it's just a little trim piece that goes in down here. Anyway. There's two fuses that we put in. Both of them are under hood. I'll show you guys in a second. And there's a little PDI booklet that we fill out. And then obviously the cleanup guys get to it and take all the plastic off and get it all washed and waxed for you. <clears throat> all right, let's see uh, what's under the hood here. Look at that. So, the fuse box here. No. The outlined uh, shape right here, those are the um, fuses that are put in when they arrive at the dealership. So we have a 10 amp. An amp right here and you can always tell because they stick up a little bit around the edges of them kind of gives you basically it turns on the, um, the multiplex circuit and the headlights so you don't have a dead battery when the car has been sitting So there's obviously much more than putting fuses in and uh, it's obviously a little bit more than putting fuses in and um, filling out a check sheet. We go through and we actually check out things, make sure all the functions work, you know. Left, arrow. <laughs> you're right, you don't need to put a right or a left on the exhaust. What are you doing? Go pounds? See the, the struts. Have an electronic motor in them to switch in between all the different settings. Right. And the um, the brakes have a uh, electronic caliper, so you know for the electronic parking brake. Now those are available separate from the caliper, so it saves on the price of the. You know what I mean? Right. But to push in the rear calipers on these, you have to do it with the computer with the with the HDS. Same with the fronts. Got a motor on them. For this, for the suspension right there, it's a built-in sensor for the suspension. 
with all that uh, tachometer or and the gauge cluster shows all the g-forces and whatnot it's coming to you by the next <clears throat> oh yeah from earlier these little um there's actually an error on there these little uh, orange blocks they're plastic there's four of them um these came off that type r um the front suspension on those the front springs have these in them as spacers so they can get them on and off the transport truck without scraping um, the s2000s had that too back in the day but always take these out some people forget i wanted to show you some of the stuff but we got a check engine light on and obviously it's going to throw the rev match system off so i got to go pull that up and you know see what's going on with that um i'm trying to say see off here but um obviously this switch here switches the suspension setup now as i move it up type r well r you know so it shows the shocks and brightens out the um the red line sport comfort so basically three different settings now as you go through this too I don't know how much it can show you. Throttle position, brake, how hard I'm pressing on the brake, how much you're giving it gas. Um, here you have a turbo uh, boost pressure, which actually shows how much PSI you have, unlike the touring model I have. Here you have, obviously, um, a tachometer actually shows when VTEC engages and whatnot. G sensor, um, have to do that if you're driving. Stopwatch. Fuel, range and all that good stuff. Navigation, this has the same navigation set up as the touring model that I have. Um, obviously, you know, your maintenance, your music, your phone, kilometer swap, and then your standard information setting. So, other than that, you have the nice Type R wheel, the red, red seat belts, front and back. The back looks a little cheap to me, but, you know, what do I know? It's so one thing I never understood is why don't they have glove box, lock locks, and no home link on a $34,000 car. I don't know what else I can show you. Uh, no Honda sensing. And, um... No Honda sensing, but it does have the brake hold feature. You have to be buckled up for that. I'll tell you about that from experience. But um, that's it. I got to bring it back to the shop and see why the check engine light's on. Hopefully, it's just something stupid. But um, I'll uh, well, let me see if I can get a, set up the stand while I'm driving here. Obviously, since this car only has 30 miles on it, we're not going to be getting on it. That's for the customer. But we still have to verify that I normally do one good pull to like maybe 6,000 RPM to make sure everything's engaged and there's no stutter or anything at high RPM. Um, obviously, the clock's set because it's navigation. It sets automatically by satellite. But one lucky customer is already... Uh, set and go in the showroom waiting on this thing so that's pretty much how it's been going with these type R's they've just been good to go but yeah we're going to do one second gear pull to 6000 make sure that uh, you don't have any hesitation or anything in the upper power band let's give us some uh, some room here yep she's 
pulling good. See what gear I'm putting it in? Um, there's a little number up there. Five, six, and then... Used to drive around in five. I mean, she's pretty quick. I mean, they're pretty quick cars. But... As you guys may or may not know, you know, I have a... 93 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 twin turbo and it I'd be interested I'd be interested you know what do you guys think a VR4 which is right about 300 horsepower more torque than this against this this is a lot more lightweight front wheel drive what do you, what do you guys would think you know quarter mile something modified like that I mean my VR4 definitely feels a lot more torquier than this one than the Type R but you know these things are lightweight and I'm sure you can whip these around the track a lot better the VR4 is obviously more of a touring car although you know this is a touring model and you know they both similarly have the adjustable suspension and um, cool exhaust features and all the spoilers and whatnot. But I'm pulling back up now. Let's see what uh, this check engine light is. Hopefully, it's just something stupid from the car sitting. It's quite common. Yeah, you can't really do it. Yeah. There you go. Touch the gas a little bit, just touch it. 